So I'm Marc Villanova, I'm a sound and visual artist from Barcelona and I'm here at Generation in Braga doing a residency from the IMAP project. On my last pieces I've been working a lot with frequencies we cannot perceive as humans. So all the sounds that go beyond or above like our senses. And I've been working with infrasounds in a previous work. And here I wanted to work with infrasounds that we found in nature. And actually cascades are the only source of infrasonic frequencies that is persistent, that is continuous. They produce these massive, really deep, uh, extremely low frequencies that they can travel up to 400 kilometers from the source. We cannot perceive them, we cannot hear them, but other species, they can do it. And there are some studies that see how some birds, they can hear, they can perceive, they can sense those frequencies and they use them to navigate when they make like big migrations, when they travel from like North America to South America. They remember where the waterfalls are, they sense them and they know the way, among other senses like atmospheric pressure or magnetic north. But infrasonic listening, let's say, it's one of the senses for the navigation. So I got really inspired by that. I just started during a residency in Canada, actually, to record uh, waterfalls to see what happens. And actually, we found a lot of infrasonic material there. And I use it in uh, small speakers. So that's the idea of the piece. So I have a curtain of uh, small speakers, they are not capable to reproduce these infrasounds, but they vibrate, they, they make the attempt to produce them and the mechanical action to produce those infrasounds. And this mechanics is translated to a, into a fiber optic that is hanging from those speakers. It's a luminescent fiber optic, so the whole cable is really thin and flexible cable that is illuminated. And the vibration of the speaker, it resonates on the cable, so you can see the, the cable vibrating on those sounds that are imperceptible for us. So it's a curtain where you can see it, you can hear it, the, the vibration, and you can also go through and feel with your skin the vibration on the cables on, on your body. I think materials, ideas, concepts, everything are like surrounding us and sometimes they come together into, into a piece. I did a scenography for a, a friend of mine in Barcelona where we use fiber optics, but normal ones. I think it was the first time I was exploring that material. Then I had the idea of a piece, a completely other piece with fiber optics that I never made. It's still there as an idea. Working with waterfalls, I found this material that is, yeah, it's a really nice material. This, it's a fiber optic that is surrounded by phosphor, and then it makes the light. Normally fiber optics, you put light one end and it goes out in the other end. This one, it's, it's a permanent light in the whole cable, let's say. I think what's special from a map is this community they create with both institutions that are all around Europe and also the artists that we were selected. Because once they select us, they also invite us to Zagreb. We had a meeting there where we got to meet everyone that is, it got selected. So we actually built a nice community we, we still have some Zoom calls and we speak to each other and we share our residence experience. The EMA project wants to organize uh, shows that are like group shows from all the residents. And this created like sense of community among us that otherwise, yeah, that I think it's, it's what it has the most value. Of course, the funding and the support they give us and the, they allow us to produce like bigger pieces. But this sense of getting to know people, getting to know the institutions, getting to know other artists and bringing them together, it was a really, really nice point of a map, yeah.